Hey, welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. For today in history, um, we have the story of a third worst air crash in history, and it occurred today, August the 3rd, 1975. Now, on this day in history, there was a chartered Boeing 707 aircraft. It was carrying um, immigrant Moroccans from France, their family in Morocco, when, unfortunately, it crashed into the mountainside in heavy fog early Sunday and all 188 people on board died. Like I mentioned, it was a third worst disaster in civil aviation history. And the, what, what happened to that plane was that when it crashed, it immediately exploded and burned, you know, in a tiny village, you know, just that was two minutes before it was expected to land at the airport, you know, in southern Morocco. It was just a very terrible day in history. Um, the news was awash with stories about this, how this plane was supposed to arrive at 4.30 um, p.m. a.m., but the plane crash occurred at 4.28. Just terrible. Really sad. And this is in 1975, you know, and so, you know, it makes me start to wonder, you know, how much more has been, you know, put into aircraft investigation and um, uh, being able to, you know, make uh, uh, air travel safer uh, generally. Uh, we've, of course, uh, still remember the MH370, which I would always mention, um, and, um, you know, a couple of other times when there have been, you know, similar uh, disasters. It's, it's very important, you know, that work continues and, you know, the development of air travel continues to ensure that we reduce to its barest minimum the possibilities of air um, uh, crashes. crashes. The, the sad thing is when this happened with this Boeing 707 aircraft, um, they stopped production of this particular plane because of all the defects that occurred. And then they began to sell it to carriers in the third world countries, yeah. you know, and selling them as low as $1 million. Why? Does our people, you know, buy abandoned, you know, aircraft, what aircrafts what that what have been involved in accidents and have been deemed unsafe for their people? They sell it to us, we, you know. So these mm -hmm. things really because we don't make ours. It's pretty simple, you know. Mm -hmm. If you make yours, you know, you don't need to buy, you know, a. Uh, when would Nigeria begin to make airplanes? Yeah, right. <laughs> the cars that we make, we know the, the popular brand. How many Nigerians patronize them? So to, when it seems like a tall order. Well, would we be in our lifetime? Let's first of all survive COVID-19 and uh, the NARD strike. We'll make cars and airplanes later. Let's go back to 1949. And this is, of course, uh, the day that the uh, NBA was formed. It is currently the, one of the biggest sports in, you know, in, in the world. And it was a merger between two bodies that were, of course, in existence before uh, that came together on this day to form the NBA. On the 3rd of August in 1949, after, of course, a really, really damaging three-year battle to win both players and fans, the rival Basketball Association of America, which is called BAA, and the um, uh, National Basketball League, NBL, merged to form the National Basketball Association. Uh, the uh, new NBA was made up of uh, 17 teams that represented both small towns and large cities across the country. And through the 50s, uh, the number of teams dwindled along with the fan support. By 1954 to 1955 season, only eight teams remained. The league then transformed the game with the creation of the 24-second clock, making play faster paced and more fun to watch. And of course, uh, was created at that time by three corporations. It claims, the NBA rather claims the BAA's history as its own and considers the 1949 deal as an expansion, not a merger. Today, the NBA attracts players and millions of fans from cr countries around the world and the whole planet. It's currently, like I said, one of the biggest games on the planet. Um, and of course, um, currently, I, th I think currently has about 30 teams uh, playing in it. Um, mm. in including the United Milwaukee Bucks. In yeah, in including what? Including what? <laughs> say that again. <laughs> we can take a break here. Uh, All right, we'll come back to you with um, the state of security in Nigeria, especially in the light of what occurred in Plateau State over the weekend. Do stay with us.